five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is your show, the Alt Kings Podcast. I'm your host, Tate, with my co-host, Corbin, and today we are diving deep into XDC. Mm-hmm. Zenfen. Well, Zenfen's the project, or the people who created XDC, and Zenfen is, what are they trying to accomplish, Corbin? Zimfin is basically trying to aim for a very particular niche, from what I can tell. They have they have a lot of different use cases, which we'll go into later. Um, but the main thing that I've been hearing rumors about and stuff is they're trying to particularly target, uh, I guess you could say, where most, most blockchains and currencies will target business-to-business transactions or they'll target, uh, you know, people peer to regular peer to peer yeah. transactions this one's going more for the the trade side of things um and they're it's it's kind of hard to articulate because it is such a niche thing but once you see the partnerships and all the little things they got going for them it's going to make a lot more sense it's so much more sense yeah exchange infinite is the greater words for a Zenfin. Uh, they're a delegated proof of stake consensus, uh, consensus network, also known as XDPOS, enabling hybrid relay bridges, instant block finality, and interoperability with ISO 222 messaging standards, making Zenfin's hybrid architecture developer friendly. Uh, so, XDPOS. It's the state consensus network, and they're going to try to solve four major problems in the blockchain network. Delegated proof of stake, number one, reduce energy consumption by one-tenth. Compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum mining requirements, it's going to change the way that we move money immensely, because consider them, the way that their mining requirements are currently working it's just very energy inefficient and it takes a lot of gas and it just consumes a lot of energy yeah on a day-to-day basis and consuming a lot of energy in today's world is just not efficient when you're trying to find the perfect blockchain oh yeah uh the second thing that they're trying the second thing they're trying to accomplish is uh near to zero transactions or gas fees to the consumer creating feasibility to run microtransactions on a blockchain network. That's basically going to allow, like we've talked about in the past, XRP is another great example of this. Um, They're just being able to allow us to send billions and trillions of dollars for less than dollars, and it's insane how fast and efficient it works. Uh, The third problem that they're solving is self-KYC-based nodes. Uh, Solving problems of anonymous network member issues. And finally, the fourth, uh, solving scalability problems of low number of transactions by higher transaction per second. So say if there's people still out there trying to send low dollar transactions just for a couple dollars and stuff, compared to like Bitcoin and Ethereum, those transactions might take as much energy and fees as you're honestly trying to send. Say yeah. if you're trying to send twenty dollars, you might have twenty dollars in fees. When say if you're trying to send twenty dollars through XDC and Zenfin, it's going to be probably a couple of pennies. Mm-hmm. That's all. Yeah, and hardly it's, anything. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. So Zenfin is the project. XDC is the token behind the project. Yep. And XDC is underlying utility to power Zenfin's hybrid blockchain. Uh, they have about thirty-seven and a half billion in supply. And that's a pretty big supply, but it also provides a lot of on-demand liquidity and stuff. It does. It does. Absolutely. What are some of the use cases, Corbin? Well, they got they got quite the list. So it's just, a big lineup. It is. It is quite the lineup. We got, we got the heavy hitters. This yes. this is the. Uh, <laughs> it reminds me of the of Team USA's basketball team oh in God. the Olympics. Yes. Like years and years ago. When they had Jordan, LeBron James, Kobe, Shaq. Oh, bro. Yeah. Young KD. Too, it was oh, just true. Too many true. people. Yeah. Too many people. Yeah. Too many good. Yeah. Exactly. Because at, at the very front of it, it's already ISO 20022 compliant. Yes. 
which is already major because yeah. there's only what six, six or tokens. seven yes. yeah six tokens that are that are a part of that which is going to make that transition for the financial industry and other sectors of the financial market and everything easier to sort of transact inter- to transact and, yeah. in- and to integrate yes. ultimately with Zenfin's architecture that yes. they got going here there are a couple different use cases that XDC that Zenfin themselves have stated that it can be used for. Uh, there's one called My Contract. It's a digital asset creation and management dashboard, and you can use that for assets like community coins, bonds, real estates, infrastructure assets, essentially the asset tokenization market. And you don't need any sort of programming expertise. And that's for crazy. That. That's yeah. really helpful because programming's starting to continue to grow immensely throughout yeah. the world that we live in today. Mm-hmm. You need to be able to know how to program if you're going to even consider trying to develop on the internet. Absolutely. And, and that's another play that I've noticed throughout our research of Zenfin and sort of what their, their kind of play is here in the market is they're more so aiming to make it one of the most user friendly developments or uh, developmental i guess you could say roadmaps for you having an idea when to create a project and onboarding it onto the xdc blockchain yes. and th- throughout here it's 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 just a lot of this is easier come be with us we'll make your life less of a headache you're going to put less time and less money into developing for us it's looks to be looks to be a good deal and you'll be able to send your money 10 times faster. And cheaper. Yes. Yes. Very much so. Yep. Another one that they've got going is Trade Finex, which is a P2P trade finance platform to create instrument, instruments of value between buyers and sellers in the whole trade finance market. And it is an open protocol for banks, institutions, and user consortium-led governances, which ultimately, at the end of the day, makes it decentralized. So right now we have these, you know, you think of your KuCoins, your Bitcoin, your Bitcoins, your your KuCoins, your BitTrues, your Upholds. Those are all very centralized custodians for your assets, which there's tons of issues there. Tons of corruption, too much to worry about. Yeah, yeah. Don't. Not financial advice, but don't leverage trade on these platforms. They're, the amount of scam wicks and disgusting oh stuff I have seen over the last few months. The rugs are everywhere. Well, the rugs, but just straight up, like, you put in a good position with, you know, 5, 10x margin. And you're like, this is going to be great. It has to do this thing. When moon. When, when moon. moon. When moon, exactly. <laughs> and then the whole market does this, and then there's one wick that goes <laughs> like this. Literally in the only... Only in that exchange. In a span of like a minute to two. Oh, less than that. Yeah, Seconds. Literally. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, it's horrible. It wipes your account. Yeah, it'll, it would wipe your account. It's, yeah, that's no bueno. No bueno at all. And with Trade Finex, obviously it's an open protocol for banks. Uh, when, when you're talking about banks' money, that's not just a couple hundred million. It's the trillions of dollars that revolve in the world today and that revolve throughout the financial institutions that we base our our purchases off to be honest exactly i mean we got to put our money somewhere and we also got to buy things and yep. it's all com- it's all consumer based and consumers spend money and the banks also use our money yep. so there's just a lot of money revolving out there that zenfen can honestly just <clears throat> it can just take and use to all their advantage yeah and then another really interesting one is called land registry which uh, Zinfin has conceptualized end-to-end land registry record management solutions using their own blockchain technology. Zinfin's objective is to access, verify, and transfer ownership pertaining to land records in real time to reduce inefficiency in the current manual process. So you might have heard of a another token that does this called Proppy, which is essentially like they're they're essentially trying to make ownership of housing almost like an NFT. But you would transact using the Proppy token, which I love Proppy to death, but they're on the ERC-20 <laughs> blockchain. So, you know, oh, you, no. so let's say you buy a house for 100 grand, 200 sure. grand, right? And get all the paperwork lined up and you're going to use Proppy to do this. Great. Awesome. You're going to pay with Proppy. It's going to be a, you know, cut and dry thing like that. 
Till you see what the fees are for that day, because Ethereum's a little backed up. Till you try to send the Ethereum to the network. Yeah. Not even buying the house. Not even just sending the money to buy the house. You got to send it to the network first to then be bought. You know what would be even worse is if, if you if you had this sort of a transaction on the line and the transaction got stuck because you didn't give it enough gas. This is the deed to an actual house. <laughs> it just gets stuck in the in, you call in the, Ethereum. Yeah, you call the real estate agent and you're saying, um, I didn't have enough money for gas. We're going to have to hold off for about two more weeks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're not going to react well. Yeah, if you if you think the coming five, six, seven dollar a gallon gas is, is bad, just wait until you've used Ethereum. It's gross. The coming, it's already here. Uh, yeah. California is... Just, Tate, no. Don't... I don't... I don't want to think about this. Oh, I know. I have to use premium in my car, Tate. Well, it's disgusting. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah, at least we don't. We're not based out of California, so oh, we're not dealing with that. Golly, yet. yeah, that would have been no. That's corruption. Not, yeah, <laughs> gas yeah, taxes that, out the wazoo. All. Anyway, corruption. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, another really cool one that they have is called Block Degree, and essentially, Block Degree exists to create awareness of Zinfin's platform. And Block Degree provides online blockchain training in engineers and professionals. These, these engineers and professionals can basically take basic and advanced courses from Block Degree and start development around their platforms, which is another one of the things I was saying earlier about Zenfin's main play, in my eyes at least, is that they're more so making it easier for everybody to get on board because mm-hmm. so i could see that being 100 percent a not necessarily a deterrent but i guess a a negative factor in trying to join this whole blockchain this whole blockchain yeah. and just crypto in general yeah because it's, it's a brand new sector for, yeah it's, uh, it's major institutions yeah yeah having to learn a whole new programming yeah. language and having to figure out how stuff needs to be organized and structured to make the code work it's it's a mess um, especially, so, especially whenever they're trying to get out of outdated platforms. Yes, it's sad. Yeah, but one thing that I find really interesting about Block Degree, uh, if we go back to my contract, how my contract uh, allows you any sort of help with programming expertise, uh, Block Degree is basically there now to teach you that programming rather than just help you. Yeah. Exactly, and so you don't ne- you're not necessarily just getting walked through it with your hand the whole time. Now you get to actually sit down and learn step by step how to do this yourself. Exactly, and that's pretty beneficial mm-hmm. if you think about it. Mm-hmm. Most definitely, uh, another big partnership that they have is with Toronto Pay, and they facilitate standard remittances over the XDC protocol that provides counterparty ri- risk mitigation and instant payments through existing channels such as Swift. What is Swift? So Swift is the existing global financial sort of architecture that exists now. It's how all the banks kind of communicate to each other. And it's a it's sort of like a baseline set of you want to do transactions from here to here. This is how you do it. This is the same level playing field for everybody. It's been around for the 70s. It's since the 70s. It's super outdated. Yes. There's so much other there's so many other things that could take its place 100 percent. and yeah most definitely zenfin is here <laughs> yeah yeah so zenfin's here and just judging from it i think T- toronto pay's main play is that they're trying to provide a sort of halfway in between for maybe banks or financial institutions or businesses that aren't 100 percent comfortable fully just you know, doing a swan dive yeah. into crypto. Dumping all their eggs into one basket. Exactly. Yeah. So this would give them a chance to stick their toes in the water a bit and figure out, is this going to work for me? How much money is this going to save? You know, do we need to hire more developers? I could, I could, there's tons of reasons why I could see a company wanting to do that. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. A hundred percent. It's, it's crazy because those are just, uh, a handful of different use cases as Infin has, and yeah. there's many more out there that we haven't even really even touched up upon. Yeah. But after going over the those top use cases, mm-hmm. now we have our partnerships. Uh, mm-hmm. Zenfin is partnered with major institutions around the world, and we also forgot to mention they are not based out of the United States. 
They're based out of Singapore, right? Yes, they are. They're based out of Singapore. And regulatory clarity. For the, yeah, but for then them. yes, but then they also <laughs> have to wait for the regulatory clarity to come to the U.S. Because like right now we still we have v- we have VPNs. We'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, XTC isn't listed on Coinbase, which I find that as a sleeping giant in a way. True. Because that's a lot of uh, liquidity that you're missing out on. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, neither is XRP. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the joke. <laughs> Not financial advice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, Zenfin is partnered with a couple, or they have lots of partnerships, but just a couple of them are uh, some known as Copper, R3 Quarter. R3 Quarter is a very big one. R3 Quarter is major yes. also some as uh, soda tech uh, abu dhabi global market circle and many other powerhouses in the financial space yeah there's just a lot that all you gotta do is really look up uh zenfin partnerships and it will show you list of yeah just major banks institutions just their their Pokemon card collection of partnerships isn't quite as stacked as Ripple's. Not yet. But they're 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 getting there. They're it's climbing. it's yeah, they're climbing up. Yes. They're definitely climbing up for sure. And there's there's just one last thing that I think that we should tell our lovely audience. Mm-hmm. And that is the master nodes. Yes. Yeah, the the master nodes are are interesting because once again going back to them trying to make everything as easy as possible. Zinfin is the only blockchain company to offer a one-click masternode deployment. So you don't have to do a ton of coding to get it set up. You don't have to go sort through a bunch of tutorials and then maybe you didn't type something. It's one click. That's it. Precisely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it has been heralded as one of the... as It has been heralded by many for being the easiest solution for setting up a masternode. And when you set up a masternode, you earn XDC back. Yes. Because, you know, you're you're, you know, setting aside some of your resources and your time to do this. And by some resources, I mean you have to stake I believe it's a million XDC. Yes. Yeah. It is a million. One million XDC. Which I'm actually kind of curious. So that is <clears throat> Oh no 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 I'm, I'm gonna do the calculation right now. So Zinfin, let's just say it's at five cents because it's been hovering between like five and six cents today. I think that's fifty k. Uh, times one million. Let me make sure that that's <laughs> the correct amount of zeros because I'm an old man apparently. Yep, it's fifty grand. Fifty k. So if you got fifty grand, not and financial advice. The yield on that. So say you put the fifty k in, the yield percentage yield on that is about eight to twelve percent per year, I believe. Which would be quite a lot about of about five k a year off fifty k. Times eight percent, yeah. So even at its lowest, that's that's eighty thousand XTC. Wild. And XTC is just barely touching and that's at this the price. doorstep yeah yeah that's, five that's, five, that's calculating this at five cents we've which, seen we've seen xcc go past 19 cents yeah i'm not even going to calculate that yeah, that's gross yeah. if you just look up the chart for xcc you will see just a sleeping giant waiting to erupt yeah absolutely there there have also been some rumors i'm going to try to find some of the the old twitter posts and stuff of people saying that they're a secret project from Ripple and that they're secretly backed by them and all this other stuff. So I'll see if I can find a l- some of those articles and I'll, I'll put them in post. Mystery articles. The mystery articles, yeah. We'll see if I can find some Riddlers. <laughs> That's crazy. got some good drawings yes, or something yes, for it. <laughs> yes. I don't believe it. You know what I, I was thinking? I don't believe I actually even said the co-founders. You know what? You, I didn't. No. It was at the top of the page. Didn't you? Yep. Didn't you run by it? Skipped right over it. It's the, okay, the, bud. The co founders are Atul Kakaid and Ritesh Kakad. Yep. They're two very genius people, and they are continuing to bring people onto their project on a monthly basis, just who are very knowledgeable in this space. They're not just going out and picking a random John off the street, just saying, hey, you want to try to work for our, uh, our, our Zenfin network? No, they're not doing that. Well, I mean. If their whole goal is education and make things easy, if they wanted to, I mean, they could. They could. They could. I'm just saying. They, like, did, you they know? did pick up one of my favorite people in the crypto space right now. Yes. Uh, Quincy. Quincy Jones. Yes. That dude. 
Quincy's great. I, really I love is. watching him talk. Yes. He's he's fantastic. He, I remember just watching that man from before he was even working with XGC. Oh, absolutely. How a pro XGC he was and all big into XRP and stuff. It's just crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy really to cool see. to see him, yes. him doing these big development conferences and stuff. Super smart guy. Just ridiculously smart. I think smart. he's very, smart, uh, very young as well. Yeah. It's great to see people like that in the space. Well, he's he's either really young or he's got really good genes. Because <laughs> I don't, I have no idea how old he is. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, this has been it for episode one of XTC. We'll be back with episode two, probably in a couple weeks. Yeah. We got a lot more to go over. And yeah. A there... lot more guests to bring on. Yeah, a lot more guests to bring on, and that yeah, and XTC. The, the the information for XDC isn't as readily available as is for like XRP or for any of these other big cryptos, so we're gonna have to do some Yeah deep do digging. some do some digging. Yep. You know? And that's really what we're here the, for. The crust of this. The Alt Kings Crypto Talk Show. We're here to show you everything you need to know about the crypto space. Absolutely. Well, with that being said, thank you guys once again. Now we have hit six hundred subs. Six hundred subs let's see if we can Date. get 1k by the end of this month oh if we hit 1k by the end of this month we're gonna hold a huge giveaway all right a you huge giveaway make it happen tell your friends tell, tell your moms, family tell your dad tell you, your grandmas your grandpas you know, everybody everybody yeah we're gonna we'll hold a huge giveaway yeah to it's be good. determined to be determined <laughs> well this but is you, been... but we know you guys can make it happen yeah just 400 more people. Is it really that hard? 400 people. No. Nah. 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 Well, this has been the Alt King Show. We hope you all have a great afternoon or the, whatever it is, morning, afternoon. Whatever time of day it is, we yes. hope it's great. Yes. You're yes. taking the headphones off. Well, I was waiting for you to finish the intro, bud. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Mm-hmm. This is the Alt Kings, mm-hmm. and we are out. You're <laughs> Got it. <laughs>